<laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Paul. And I'm Luke. And I'm Matthew Moore. And we are Twin Sauce. And here on uh, our channel today, we're going to be talking about Stranger Things Season 3. I want to... Stranger sh- Things? Shut up. Season 3? <laughs> um, we watched this a month ago, and these are our thoughts on Stranger Things. Yeah. What did you guys think Let's of the get... overall of the, uh, the season? Just overall thoughts. I loved it. I was expecting that I wouldn't enjoy this one as much because it was like... July 4th themed instead of Halloween themed and I've always kind of felt like it was a Halloween it felt weird watching it in July yeah Um, but I also uh, I really enjoyed the colors that they were able to add because of that my favorite is like the finale scene with all of the fireworks oh this is gonna be spoilers (laughs) yeah I just jumped right into it sorry folks spoiler Um, spoiler alert yeah yeah I guess if we're talking about the season then yeah if you're watching this video you you should probably know what's going on also it's been out for a month so I hope that you've seen it if you want to anyway Color palettes. Yeah, the color palette was really fun, and um, also the cinematography was just, just dope. Yeah. I feel like this one went, like, the first few were like, oh, okay, like, there's this mysterious thing, and this one was like, there's this mysterious thing. And also a massive governmental, like, force at work here. And so there was, yeah. uh, it was like the 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 risk level jumped in this season or, quite or a you bit. mean like the... the... The risk for the kids. I mean, oh, sure. there was kids that were messing with Russians. So, like, that's, you know, kind of a big deal. Yeah. Um, uh, so you have this whole plot going on. So it's no longer just the threat of this unknown monster. Gotcha. You have like this new threat that is, you know, the Russians and it's, um, 1986, 1985, 85. And then, yeah. yeah. And so what did you think overall? Initially in the beginning, you could definitely tell that they have more like backing from everyone. Like the it's just general popularity budgets and, stuff. and budgets yeah. and like, you know, it's Stranger Things, so everybody's, like, excited about Stranger Things, so they have, like, a ton of music that ties in, and they have, like, a ton of shops in the mall and stuff, and in the first couple episodes, I was like, is this all going to be, like, about product corporate placement. product placement and corporate tie-ins, but then, like, more stories started happening, and I was happier. Yeah. And then, I think that made me enjoy the, cor- the product placement more. Because of the story? Yeah. 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 I think well, the, the I Starcourt... Saying, talking yeah, about okay. Starcourt in general was just my favorite Starcourt thing. Was fun, I love it. You were saying just earlier today, you are like, uh, why does it say... What did you say about Taco Bell? Oh, uh, I was saying, why did it... Yeah, there was Taco Bell and the like, food court and it said Taco Bell coming soon, but I wanted them to go get Taco Bell. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what they were doing. Oh, about. man. I think for me, it was something... I think Starcourt was probably one of my favorite, like sets that they got to work in well, the fact that it, it was, was also beautiful a for the Russians. well i'm not talking about story i'm talking about like legit like just set pieces oh yeah like that set they found it, it was an actual model that they went and renovated. well the, but they renovated it like the, yeah. the the work that was put into that that set i mean right. it's still a set that you're filming on even a diner is a set that you film on but the uh whatever they did to it was just incredible to me that i like yeah i loved well even like the merchandising in the store that uh the gap the, yeah, the gap that they go into, it's like, ah, yeah. this is so, there's so much like detail that they put into it. You can it. tell there was a lot of work that went into that. But another, honestly, they have like, they have massive corporate backing now. So. <laughs> <laughs> another um, thing that I enjoyed was Erica's character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's really dry. Lucas's and sister. Yeah. You don't really even realize that it's his sister. You kind of know that. I mean, the from the past, you'll know but from you, the previous seasons. But you, right? it, she doesn't feel like she's just a little sister. Oh, she yeah. kind of really. I think the actress does a great job of this too, but really takes on so much of the character herself yeah. and is just like. Well, and I like and I guess thing. based on the writers that they talked about is that they that she was such a fan favorite from season one and season two that they just had they wanted to bring her in in more of a oh okay a, a, because of the the fan favorite that I'm she was be terrible and honestly say that I don't remember her from season one. Season I remember two, her. So. she was and, just um, like in the house. Two, she made fun of. Lucas's Halloween costume. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. When they were trick or treating, and she's in the in his bedroom, she will walk into his bedroom and make fun of him. And yeah. He was like, and then oh. she like doesn't help Dustin on the radio or something. Yeah. So there's like, there's shut up, get off the radio. Right. <laughs> she's she's woven in, but she's not a, a, okay. a character, yeah, uh, or like a developed character at all. But I loved oh, okay. it. I thought that the storytelling in this season, I, it was interesting because it, it's reminiscent of season two. I was not a huge fan of season two. Oh really? Um, as much, not as much as season one. Like in comparison, like season two was like, eh. Oh no, I like season but two. But more because of like the specifics with like the the guys being separated from eleven, and eleven was just kind of doing her own thing, and that was weird. It just the whole thing felt incohesive. Yeah. And then this one felt like they took all of those different things that they learned from season two, and were like they kind of did the same type of things where they like have everybody in these different subplots that are separate. But like with this one, it felt cohesive and it felt like unified. Well, and the storytelling, the, the way they did it, 
having the people discovering different things at different times. Like, yeah. Like Dustin figuring out like there's Russians and then his, and then Will's mom figuring out that there's something going on with the magnets and being very curious about that. And then yeah, like there's all these things that you're like figuring out about. Oh, and then the mayor being involved in everything that was pretty cool. There's some of the stuff that like my attention waned like the mayor stuff I didn't care about oh, anything really? about and then Jonathan and Nancy I was over that and like, <laughs> after the first time really? I, saw, I hate them oh and yikes then, oh, I love I like them, them. Uh, but I've always liked Nancy then there's just like she's a three. everybody is all separated up until the very end yeah I'm again loved. which is they're still like doing their own I things. wish there was some they're crossover like, in there yeah but I wish they yeah. like saw each other yeah. and, I was, and I wish I like Will got to like do more than just have tingles I in the wish, back of his head. Yes. I wish Will could have played D&D. Okay, I listen, wish they would have done that. I'm going to get on my soapbox. Will <laughs> gets the short end of the stick in every season. Every in season. In the first season, he's not even there. He has a worm down his throat, and then he vomits up a worm at Christmas time. Then the second season, he gets possessed. Then the third season, nobody wants to play Dungeons and Dragons with him, and he's not interested in any girl. <laughs> so he gets the short end of the stick again. I agree with the that. Stranger Things is just Hates about Will. torture and Will. <laughs> really, in all honesty, though, it is. I, I am interested to see if they do anything with him in the future because I really haven't done much with him. And I would love for them to do... I want more Will. Yeah. I want more Will. I want more of the boys. The I've always original felt boys. bad for Will because in the beginning when they would do like press stuff, like he was never there. It would be 11 and the other three. Yeah, well, that's because they were the ones with screen time. I mean, they were the ones with the big yeah, paychecks. He really didn't get Which much. is... He did a couple of... A little bit in the press tour season one and season two, but it was not near as much as the other three and the and 11. Yeah, that, that's sad. Um, yeah. I'm excited. Hopper is jumping into the MCU. Like, that, is that is not, not what we're talking about. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> this leads us to one of our, well, one of my favorite parts, which there was a random re-release about a month and a half ago of this specific product, and then it kind of like only had a one-day thing, and I heard it on the radio, and then I never heard anything else about it online. Well, it's featured in Stranger Things, because... But then it came back in three okay, days, and no. that's what I was going to... In 1985, Coke undid its product... Like, a Coke just made a new product called New Coke, and everybody was mad about it, and it's referenced in Stranger Things. We thought it was funny. So then, Coke actually brought back New Coke in real life, so I ordered some New Coke. <laughs> so we're going to unbox it. That's It's interesting that they did it here, um, because like I did hear it on the radio that they were trying to bring it back earlier, and no one cared. Yeah, and but then, I love that they used Stranger Things. And now to... they use Stranger Things to really... Kickstart it. One summer can change everything. Yes. I did, I, I think for me, let me talk a little bit more about Stranger Things real quick. The, the, uh, as a whole, I liked, I, th I felt like, um, the aesthetics, like this season was probably my favorite, which is interesting mm -hmm. because I really like season one. I'm interested to see how they continue it because of, um, like, I feel like it's starting to feel a little bit more like the same threat over and over again, even though the th threat keeps gray gaining, but I feel like it's kind of the same. What? I want the upside down to be explained. Yes. yes. And I want, um, I don't really want this. I think it'll be too cheesy, but I also think it would be cool because the first season was uh, kind of introduction. 1983. Mm -hmm. The second season was 84. The third season is 85. So then this next season will be 1986. The year Chernobyl. Went oh, off. interesting. And Chernobyl is Russian, and there's a Russian element introduced in this season, Ooh. which I think it would be cool, but it's also like that's a horrible thing that happened. So, we'll so would they do that? In it's this? like real yeah. life. I don't know if they would actually do that, but I think it would be interesting if, especially since we were watching Chernobyl. the upside down, um, contributed something. to it. Yeah, had something to do with that. That'd be cool. Matthew's been thinking. Conspiracies. Thinking. We've just been, we watched Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it was on our mind. We watched it right before Stranger Things. Oh, uh, right now. Right after Stranger Things. Oh, no, right, right before, yeah. 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 Anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this Coke, Coke, Coke. New Coke. Give it a little tasty taste. We also got a regular Coke so we could compare. Because <laughs> Luke and I drink tons of soda. <laughs> yeah. So this. Da, 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 da. Here, good. hold it down a little lower for you. Should right I now. film like? Uh, never mind. Uh, I do like how the classic thing, and it's got a Stranger Things thing on the back. Yeah, though. that's pretty cool. And then, now were they trying with this? Historically speaking, were they trying to actually take over Coke, or like to actually like change they it? Were changing Coke? Yeah. Oh. Overall thoughts on Stranger Things three was that 
I liked it. I thought it was my favorite one so far. It was good. Yeah. I, I still it. like season one the most. I think season one was good because it introduced this. The, we had no concept whatsoever. It was sure. like just this new 80s nostalgia show. Mm-hmm. And then there was like this mystery element and the, it was kids and it was kind of Goonie-esque in that way yeah. where you were like, which I hadn't even when I first and watched e. that. And E.T. Yeah. You have like this yeah. like mystery. You're figuring this out. And I think that there is no way, because now that we're in that universe, we're expecting to feel that same way, but there's no way for us to get there again because we've already had that, you know? So I think what they've done is really great. I like the added Russian element. I like that the Upside Down is kind of there, but I want more of the Upside Down. We didn't get a ton of the Upside Down. It was like the Upside Down was brought here through Billy, and the whole like flesh-eating whatever thing was like cool, but it was like meh. Yeah, I thought overall, I I agree with you because I did like in in season one. I do miss Will. I wish Will was in it, and I think that's why I liked season uh, three because I it you got had, we got Will. more Will. We didn't get a great a lot of Will. Poor Will had like this. He was going through quite a lot, but he got some character development there though. Yeah, that we didn't get before. Right. You get to know a little bit. About he got Will. So he got to be a little angry and a little sad. Yeah. Um, and I like we that. did get some massive emotional yeah. reaction, from which Will, I think which was, was good. Really good. But I, that's, I think that's, that's why, so sad to me I know. when he's like beating at his like little club house. I know. It's like just, just so, so sad. Uh, I think, but I think oh, that's I why I like season three a lot. Together, yeah, I was yeah. Mad. yeah, yeah. I was wishing they would go and help. Him. I I wish the, it was. I wish Will had development like season one did. And I, that's why I like season one so much. But I just wish Will was in it, and so I think I keep trying to hang on to these new, newer seasons just because I like yeah. Will. No, for sure. I like season two because it has the uh, little demogorgon that grows from the <gasps> the, dog. the worm that Will threw up. Yeah. And then, um, oh, you and like then that? he, yeah, and then he eats three musketeers, and then it's like a cute little pet. But then he ends up being evil. But I wanted to be uh, good the whole time and be like a oh, little yeah. spy because his Demogorgon. name is D'Artagnan, and D'Artagnan is from the Three Musketeers, and he's a spy in the Three Musketeers. So maybe the writers is. of Stranger Things just suck because they didn't make they didn't go with that. They didn't make yeah. Dart uh, spy for the Demogorgon, so that way we could explore more of the upside down. Wow. Matthew, so you should have been on, on the writing team. Guys, huh. hire Matthew And then as a writer. Bob. I know, that was so R. sad. I love Bob. You know, honestly, I really... And then Did I struggled like with... Bob? Is that what you're no, saying? No, I like oh, Bob. Oh, no, I love Bob. I was struggling with Hopper and then that, that relationship this whole season. We haven't talked about it, and some probably people are screaming about this right now, but one of my favorite characters in this is Alexi, because yeah, he I love had, Alexi. like, this little part, but he was so, like... Willing to help, but he just really wanted Slurpees. You know? Yeah. Like, I wanted... He, I just, wanted his, he, he, wanted he had the perfect development as a like, lovable character that when he dies, like, you feel it. Yeah. It's not like... A, and he's like a bad guy. He's like a... But he's, like, written to be a meme, though. Exactly, yeah. but that's but why you I care about him. him. No, that's why I don't. Oh, that's you why don't I'm like, like, okay, where's the upside down? Oh. <laughs> I, I, love I love him. Where's something I, more important? I love Alexi. Comment below if you love or hate Alexi, but I love Alexi. Yeah. I don't hate him, but I'm also just like... There's a lot, a lot of there is a lot of like exposition, expo- no, just like dumb expedition scenes where I'm like, this we could be doing something else. Oh, um, gotcha. I, I was, no, I, I, was I loved it. it. I love it. I, I was like Hopper, calm down. He's so cute. He'll help you. And then yeah. Hopper's rage got to me a little bit and uh, like and annoyed, annoyed, annoyed me a little bit, but it made sense. I thought it was funny with Hopper and um, Joyce, Joyce made me mad this season. Oh, also we didn't even talk about Hopper dying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How sad. I don't. But I also don't think he's dead because everybody else disintegrated, and then there's an American in the Russian prison, so I think he's there. I think somehow that. My theory. She looks away. My theory is well, one she looks away, but I also think that maybe he got sucked into the upside down, and somehow he gets out at the Russian and is captured at the other entrance. That's a good. That's another. That's a good. Because I don't know if there's any Russians. There's no Russians left. It's like they're they all disappear when the like cavalry show up. So. It's like they must have like a tunnel through the or maybe <laughs> well or or maybe they have some way to get there from the upside down. Maybe they figured out uh, how, to, how, to, how to use. But, but they were trying to reopen the upside down, so they had, maybe, maybe that, that surge opened it enough that they I like. Know. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Anyway, you right guys right. are gonna have to go over to Matthew's channel to see um, us. We're try gonna go. Coke. Tr- we're gonna try new Coke over um, on my channel. On Matthew's channel. So, so go over there. There'll and be a link below. You have to go and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so we'll continue the discussion and try new coke over yeah. there. And try new coke! Yeah. 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 Oh, I better check batteries. Don't do I. Don't do I.